All right, everybody, it's me again with another how-to video. Okay, so for those of you still working on your coding in Minecraft reflection, share what you're learning page on your Google sites, uh, there's one of the things you need to do that was a little more difficult than I thought. So I want to show you how to do it. Um, so sharing screenshots is easy. You just click on images and upload your screenshots. One and two, you're just typing your response. And remember, delete the question or prompt uh, once you're done describing the activities you completed and sharing some things you learned. I've been saying in class, I don't want it to look like a worksheet where you just answered each prompt. I want it to look more natural, like a, a website that's beautiful that you created. Um, but as long as you respond to all of these, you're good to go. Uh, but I wanted to do more than just have you share screenshots of the code you wrote. It says here, provide the actual make code files. So if you're ready to share a make code file, here's what you need to do. First, you need to go to your uh, Google Drive. And I have a folder I called shared work. So I'm gonna go in there. Once you start having a bunch of files, Put your work in folders. It'll be so much easier. Then go to New, File, Upload. And I'm going to go into my Documents, into my Coding in Minecraft, and I've got a couple of, of my make code files there. You should have all the make code files you've made because you had to save them on your computer to upload them to the portal. So I'm going to pick Lesson 3, Part 2. And when you click open, it's going to upload it. See there, one upload complete. And as you can see, I've got two make code files here. I've got lesson three, part two, lesson three, part four. I want to put them both on my portfolio page. So here's what you do. First, type in embed code generator. And you can see I've already done it because this browser remembered that I typed that. So spell it just like that, embed code generator. And then the one that I used that worked was this embed.ly embed code generator. Click on it. Now you're ready. Go back to your Google Drive, and this part's important. Let's say I want to share lesson three, part two, make code. I have to right click and go to share. And then I have to change this from restricted or it's not going to work. Don't do Chimicum schools. Do anyone with the link. Boom. And then click on copy link. Done. That's the most important thing you need to do. Then click in paste where it says paste in a URL to embed. Do control V. Boom. There's your code right down here. It generated an embed code for you. So now I'm going to, I'm in here. Control C to copy. Some of you like to copy it this way. I prefer Control C, but it seems like both of those will work. Now you've got your embed code. Come back here. I'm going to scroll down to a blank part of my page. This is important. Double click. See how it brings up this tool? And you want this yellow greater than less than sign because it's the embed button. Click on it. And then go to embed code, because remember, we just copied an embed code. So we're going to paste it right here. Control V to paste. Look at that. Boom. Click on next. Now, it doesn't look pretty, but you're going to insert it. And, and that's it. Now, this alone is not enough. So I'm going to add a text file and explain. Click on the lesson. 3p2.mkcd file to download my make code. You can then import it into any Minecraft Education Edition world to run my code. Boom! You have to say that. You have to tell them it's Minecraft Education Edition. I don't think it works on Bedrock. Certainly won't work on Java. And you have to tell them they have to click on it or they won't know what to do. 
Now, when I go to publish, publish, and I go to view publish site, remember this is the link you want to give, but right here, if I click on it, it's going to go to no preview available, but it gives me a download button. Boom, that's how you do it. Once you do that, I'm gonna go back to my editing page over here. And now I can delete this part because I already did it, All right? Remember, every time you do something, uh, delete the prompt that tells you to do it. And that's it. Not bad, right? I mean, it's a lot of steps, but you've got this video.